Okay, so for those of you who haven't hiked with an umbrella before, I highly recommend it. I've had this umbrella for many years and it's come on quite a few hikes with me, but I've never had to get it out. But this trip I've been using it both for the snow and for this drizzling rain. And it's been fabulous. It's keeping my torso dry, my legs somewhat dry, uh, with my body heat sort of keeping my pants dry in combination with what the umbrella does. And it just makes the trip that much more pleasant. You don't have rain falling right on your head with a rain jacket. You've got you know, like a little canopy over you. So how is it attached? I've got two points here, pretty high on the shoulder strap. I've got this strap holding it on. And then down here, I need to get a little stronger uh, cord. This is a sort of a, a stretchy cord here. And it tends to allow the umbrella to move around a little too much. But I've got that cord holding it on on the bottom and this one holding it on the top. And then it's keeping me dry. And you can see uh, somewhat keeping my pack dry as well. So all the hype that you hear about umbrellas, I think has got good evidence behind it for uh, being true. I've wanted to do this or try this for years and this was my first chance. This is the first time that I've had a chance to try the umbrella attached to the shoulder strap while I'm hiking. I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not, but it should be way better than rain gear as it'll keep the rain completely off of my torso if it stays in place. And I won't have to have that wet jacket. So far, pretty good. Uh, definitely not going to be great in a big wind, but there's no wind to speak of right now, so we'll see how this works. All right, here we go. Let's get hiking. Well, let me give you the view from Preacher's Rock today. A little snowy, but it is so beautiful. It has mostly stopped raining. It's mostly just drips from the trees now. So I'll leave my umbrella up for a little bit more. There might be a little mist coming down with it as well. You may also notice my wind shirt. I've now got opened up most of the way so that I can let some of the moisture evaporate that I'm generating from sweat as I've been hiking a fair bit uphill. So gaining elevation, we're back into the snow. And it's not terribly windy, but you can see that the snow is moving with the wind because these are kind of big light flakes. So I don't know if the umbrella is doing me a lot of good, but uh, until the wind gets to be a problem, I'm going to keep using it a little bit more. I'm now on a new portion of the AT for me. What I'm going to try to do is just take this to the junction with Slaughter Creek Trail. So on the way back here, just cruising along, I really enjoyed hiking with the umbrella. But I do have to say that it was much slower. Coming back, I can go way faster without having to worry about the umbrella getting knocked out of the way from the trees or the wind or anything like that. And I didn't realize that I was going that much slower when I was walking with the umbrella since I've been walking with it all day. I still think the umbrella is great. So glad I brought it. it. Made a huge difference for my trip. Um, you want to put away the miles depending on conditions and how close trees and bushes are into the trail and things. Umbrella may not be your best bet for speed.